Welcome to Bright Spark Ideas and number three in a video series showing how I built this off grid uh, mobile system using the uh, GrowWatt uh, all in one inverter system. Um, hopefully, you'll find uh, this interesting as this is the final stage of it being down in the basement. And um, uh, please uh, stay with me. Welcome to the basement. Uh, I finally got the grow watt and panel and everything down in the basement. It's all hooked up and has been running nicely. Um, the panel is pretty much the same as you saw earlier. Um, as you can see on the left, uh, I've got uh, 134 watts going out. That's pretty much running continuously with the items that I have, the appliances hooked up. Um, I have uh, the yellow plug there is the uh, AC input, um, and that kicks in when uh, my battery and solar are not providing enough. So um, down we go, and there is my circuit breakers. Uh, on the right is the power coming in from the batteries. Uh, as you can see there's that Anderson breaker there um, that I can totally disconnect. There's also the circuit breaker uh, above 150 amp the circuit breaker uh, that I can uh, disconnect uh, power to the uh, um, grow what as well. Um, coming down we're coming to the battery box itself and this was the box I made it houses uh, two Battleborn 100 and batteries um, there I'll sh open the lid and show you I did fit the battery switch uh, on the box uh, there's also a temperature uh, the battery box sits on a very simple frame that I made. Um, it's uh, four by twos uh, just uh, screwed together. Um, four uh, casters that I picked up from uh, Home Depot. They're the lockable ones so I can lock it in place and it roll, won't roll around um, when I'm not trying to move it. Um, it's got it's got a uh, three quarter inch ply top to it and some three quarter inch sides uh, that a battery box sits in and I put that there to give the uh, back uh, board some support um, and uh, keep this thing a little bit more rigid as I roll it around. Um, let's have a look inside. So inside the battery box uh, we have uh, two battle bones. Uh, they are the uh, 12 volt 100 amp uh, batteries. Um, there's room for four. I designed it to hold four of them, uh, but uh, just under a thousand dollars each. Uh, I decided to start off with these two and see how uh, things run. Um, the cable uh, that you see there is Tempco uh, battery. Well, it's probably welding uh, cable, but. Uh, very nice cable, uh, O gauge, and um, you can see there that I have a fuse that really is there to protect the wiring. Uh, I don't uh, need it uh, for anything else because we have the 150 amp circuit breaker that uh, is protecting the grow watt. But uh, there's uh, pretty simple, and um, as I said, room to grow. Currently I'm running a 132 watts. Uh, that runs uh, my large uh, fridge freezer that uh, is running almost 24 hours a day. It needs to be replaced. One of the reasons why I wanted to hook it up to solar uh, until it's replaced. Um, and the small refrigerator. The washer and dryer is also hooked up to this as well, but uh, that's not running constantly. The uh, reason for wanting uh, four batteries as opposed to the two uh, would be so I could uh, run this completely off of solar and batteries without ever having to have the grid kick in. 
Okay, so a quick look at the status of the grow watt. Uh, you can see I've got 25.9 volts in the battery. Uh, we've got 120 volts going out uh, AC via the inverter. Um, the solar panel is currently providing all of that. Uh, um, right now it's actually 198 watts going out. Uh, and it's providing all of that uh, from the solar. Uh, it's also charging the battery. Um, if you look down at the little battery there by the flashing thing, there'll be, uh, there would be another link going up to the inverter if the solar was insufficient uh, to provide uh, or everything that uh, uh, the appliances need. So right now I'm really pleased with this. Uh, as I said, I think the batteries are going to give me 24-7 uh, um, coverage. Uh, right now, the, my four 100-watt 12-volt uh, uh, solar panels are providing everything I need, and that's pretty cool.